What's up folks? Well, here's a, something a little different than I usually post, but it is all in line with staying busy, staying productive, staying enthusiastic, staying, keeping my mind working, and keeping my skills up. So, um, what I've never said before is that I'm a little bit not much, but a little bit of a gun enthusiast. I'm a little bit of a gun enthusiast. I like to shoot every once in a while. However, living in New York, the opportunities are slim to slimmer as far as getting opportunities to shoot. And when you do go, you have to go to some really... Uh, you either have to drive very far to an outdoor um, range which uh, doesn't give you the freedoms that you would like to have when shooting. Uh, you're limited on time, you're limited on a lot of other things, and you have to pay. Unlike if you live upstate or live down south, or somewhere where we have your own property and you can shoot on, build your own range. And so, that being the case, try to shoot at the local range by me. Um, there are different requirements. Some Want, are requiring me to join the NRA, which I will not do. Um, I don't like being forced to do anything, especially something like that. So uh, those ranges I am not allowed to go to. I can't go to. And the other ranges are limited by, you know, in your time, how much time you can use it. So it's just not as much fun. But you can still enjoy the sport, the shooting sport, by just making some adjustments. So what I've done is I've started shooting pellet guns. And they have some really nice high-powered pellet guns. And what I like about it is that some of the handguns are realistic. So they I can stay up on my skill set, up on my skills as far as shooting my handgun by getting some really realistic pellet guns. And I can uh, keep my... I can just enjoy the art of shooting with some of the larger, what they call PCP, air guns. So take a look at these and see what you think. So here we have my Glock 19 by Umarex. It's an airsoft pistol. But what's nice about it is it's so realistic. The feel, the way, even the magazine. has nice heft to it, has a good feel to it, and so I can practice um, I can practice switching magazines out, I can practice, I have a realistic feel, and it's so much cheaper to shoot than shooting uh, with my real Glock 19. Alright, so this thing shoots 6 millimeter, 0.2 gauge, 0.20 gauge, I'm not sure what that means. I know there's six millimeter plastic BBs basically. And they do hurt. So, although this is non lethal, it still can be painful. Real blowback, it's ready to fire. Has the same safety as the Glock, the real Glock, that trigger safety. It's a very nice setup. Let's take a couple shots, see what it looks like. Great thing about That's my grouping, and that's with a airsoft pellet gun. It's good practice and good for muscle memory. Now, the way you can really entertain yourself is, since I don't have a lot of space, what we do is make the target smaller. I need to hit that black on top of that battery in order to 
make that fun with my rifle. So I pull up my my rifle and we can take that shot. And it may be a little bit of a challenge. So when you don't have the space, you can simply make it up by making the target smaller. What's up folks? Just finished pumping up my air gun. If you're wondering why I'm so tired is because this gun, type of gun has a few options as far as getting it geared up to shoot. And you could pump it up with a machine, get an air tank that you get filled at a scuba shop, or pump it by hand. And I pumped it by hand. Here's the pump. There's the gun. Hooks onto this hose. I'm just about at 3,000 pounds of pressure. Let's finish this up. It is. This is actually my first time pumping this up in over a year, I believe. So I'm out of shape. Got COVID weight. And uh, I'm just out of shape. This is hard. Okay. Almost there. Understand, I did this for quite a while before we can get, before I was able to get to the 3,000 pound mark, which is two bar. Okay. Okay, you can see the air pressure right there. And also the pump. That's it. I'm not pumping anymore. It lasted over a year last time. That's it for now. I obviously don't shoot that much. But every once in a while I feel like having fun. Let's take a few shots. Alright, I have a scope and everything on this gun. It's really no challenge to hit almost anything. It's almost no challenge to hit almost anything in here. So what I'm going to do is try to... Alright, let me show you what I have for a backdrop. I have two layers of three quarter inch wood. So that comes up to an inch and a half of wood behind it. That should be enough to stop a 25 caliber pellet. That's right, it's a 25 caliber pellet shooting from an air gun. And I'm going to aim at that battery tip. I'm trying to hit the black. Now, one of the issues is that my gun is sighted in for 100 yards 75 to 100 yards and i'm only shooting about 20 feet so or so 25 feet maybe so i really need to um and i'm not changing the sight so what i'm going to do is just try to make the adjustment in the sight i don't have to worry about the right and left but i do have to worry about the height uh the up and down of the uh the site. So let's see how well we can do. See how close we can get. Wow, that was so close. Let me show you guys how close I got. Oh, you can't really tell from here, but there is the hole. And from my perspective, that's what it looked like. See how far that hole that, that went in? Holy smokes. Went in pretty deep, but it didn't go through the two layers. It probably went through the one. That's a deep hole. Okay, you can see it in there, I think. I don't know. I can't see it with my naked eye. The camera looks like it could possibly see it. See what happens. See how well we can do. Let's raise this up.
actually came back to hit me. Actually, back here somewhere. Actually, now here it is. Let me just. Not a bad shot. Destroyed that battery. Finish it off. Oh, got it. Again. Look at that tip. Completely gone. And that's how you have fun when you're at close range with a pretty nice size pellet gun. Now my sight is making the adjustment. Wow. Haven't shot this gun in a while, but I'm still pretty good. to make some difficult positions because not a lot of room in my basement. Not, not a lot of headroom. One that got away. Woo. And if you notice, if you notice, even though this is a, an extremely powerful pellet gun, I'm not using ear protection because it has a suppressor on it. I don't know if you can see this or not. But it does a great job of keeping the noise down. If this was an unsuppressed pellet gun, I would definitely need ear protection. Might as well finish off that mug just for fun. Is also pretty heavy. Nice.
So, you can't have fun at home. Here's my airsoft cage. Just put a little spot on some paper, shoot through it. A little background cardboard. And there go all the airsoft pellets. Nice and dandy so I don't have too much of a mess to clean up. Although, when I get to the big gun, I occasionally make a mess. I occasionally make a mess anyway. Anyhow, absolutely destroyed that. You see how it goes pretty much almost all the way through to three quarter. But I, I have two layers of three quarter just to keep it safe. And um, yeah, you can have a good time in your house.